Hi guys! Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Aika and I'm so glad you stopped by. If you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button down below and also press that notification bell so you'll be notified every single time that I upload. So today I will show you a couple of things that I picked up from H&M uh, for winter. It's getting really cold and I want to wear something warm and cozy, uh, something comfortable as well. And the best, best, best things that I can propose to you are the sweaters knitwear and sweaters. So today I wanted to share with you everything that I bought in H&M. The bag is really huge but there are not so many items so it will be very quick and short. All of the sweaters are very big and fluffy and they take up so much space. That's why the bag looks massive but honestly it's just a couple of sweaters. I want to show you some really amazing sweaters that I found on a budget from H&M and the quality I was looking for the ones with the better quality they were of course a little bit more expensive than um, the regular ones but I prefer them because I believe that they will last a lot longer than the cheaper ones so yeah if you go and shop from H&M it's always better to grab something a bit more expensive but made out of good materials such as wool and more hair rather than getting acrylic or polyester and it will just get ruined really really fast and i have one example to show you the sweater i love it so much obviously i wore it to death i wore it so many times during this fall already but I love everything about it, I love how oversized it is and the color and the warmth and everything but the quality is really bad so I'll be showing you that as well. So if you want to see what I picked up from H&M, uh, the winter knitwear on a budget, please keep on watching. Alrighty, let's start! The very first thing that I want to show you is not a sweater but it is something that I'll be wearing with a sweater and it's very pretty. So here it is, I picked up this very beautiful off-white shirt from H&M and it has the ties right here and it just looks beautiful. I love every single detail about it. I love the length, it's not too short and I prefer that so it's more on a longer side. I took it in size 38 because I don't like to feel very tight in my shirts. I want it to be a bit more loose so I can do a lot more movements and I feel really comfortable in it. Ta-da! This is how it looks on and I feel like it is so beautiful. This is how it looks standing. I love every detail. Also, what I love about this shirt is that it seems transparent just a little bit, but in the front there are two layers of material so there is no see-through it is fully untransparent i just love it the only problem with this shirt is the material it is something like acrylic polyester so it's not cotton it's not silk but the price was really good i paid 39.90 swiss francs which i think is a good price for this shirt i don't feel itchy at all or anything it feels very soft and smooth against my skin so I'm very pleased with this purchase so the next item is the one I told you at the very beginning the one I love extremely but the quality is poor unfortunately the price was very cheap this is the sweater it is oversized plain I love the color and it is also oversized it's so soft and it's just so warm and comfortable, you know, when I go to classes, I feel like putting something so comfortable that will make me feel a little bit better. And this is the one I go for. 
Um, the parts that I was talking about are this ones on the side. I really don't like what is happening to it over time and the problem is I can't really get rid of them because look at this it's almost impossible to remove which is so annoying the next item that I want to show you is super cute I loved it from the first moment I saw it the only um, con about this product is that it's made of the same quality as the sweater I showed you just now uh, it's such a shame because it will get ruined but um, I feel like it's it's so special I'll just show it to you so um, this is it Oops. For this sweater, I went with a size, oh my god, height. For this sweater, I went with a size extra small because it is really, really oversized. What I loved about it is the cute heart detail. It is so cute. Um, I am not worried about it getting destroyed because I feel like I won't stay in love with such pattern for a long time. I will get bored of it because the previous one was plain and I could do whatever I want with it. I could dress it up, I could dress it down, add some jewelry and etc. But for this one it's a little bit more difficult because there is already this hearts pattern and you can't really make it look boldy. Um, and edgy because it's just very cute you know and you can't do anything about it so here how it looks on me it is super cute it is super soft and i love the hearts i love them everywhere but there are no hearts at the back who cares i'm wearing jacket all the time this is how it looks and this is size extra small so I would recommend you go a size down for this one. If you don't want the sweater to look too big on you, like a sack of potatoes, you better go down one size. What do you think about this heart pattern sweater? Let me know in the comments down below. So the next item will go amazing with this shirt that I showed you at the beginning. I'm not gonna try everything on now because I don't really have time, I'm really sorry. But I'll insert a picture of how they look together after I show you the sweater. Here it is. It is very big and it is very soft. Uh, it is mohair blend, mohair and wool blend. So this is what I'm talking about, the better quality. It was a little bit more expensive than the other sweaters. I think the price was something around 60 to 70 Swiss francs. It is super soft. The only thing that I'm a little worried about is that um, it is a little bit itchy when I put it on, when it touches my skin. I feel like, I don't know. It's a little bit itchy, but it's fine because when I put the, the shirt that I showed you before, it was perfectly fine. I didn't feel anything. So yeah, if you buy a sweater like this, make sure to put a t-shirt or a shirt or whatever you want underneath. The thing I don't like about this sweater is that it shreds a lot. <laughs> I wore it once already to meet with a friend of mine and I wore this wool jacket on top of me and when I got back home I took off the jacket and it was full of this materials but this is how it looks. I love the three quarter length on the sleeves. It is super nice especially when you put this uh, shirt underneath and you can see sort of ending of the shirt it looks really really beautiful but it is long I can't show you the full length uh, but it is pretty long it's like a tunic and what I want to do in the future is I have this 
belt that you probably saw in the previous video uh, where I showed you how to style your Gucci fanny pack. I'm gonna put it here, here, I, I can't remember, but I'll put it up there so you can watch it afterwards if you haven't seen it yet. But I have this Dolce & Gabbana belt with pearls and it's in gold and silver. So I want to put it around my waist so you can actually see my waist and so it looks more accurate and more um, classy and more neat. And what I did the last time I wore it is I put some uh, leather pants and they look terrific together. It was so, so pretty. I'll insert a couple of pictures right here so you can see how the two looked with each other. The next item I'm gonna show you is probably my most favorite one. It is made of exactly the same material so it contains more hair and wool. So I feel like it's like a special collection in H&M at the moment. You can find it in the store. Everything I bought, I bought in the store. Um, I'll put the links down in the description for every single item. So if you're interested to buy one, make sure to do so while they're still there and not sold out. So this is the sweater. It looks so cool. It reminds me of this 80s style a little bit uh, with the colors and the whole pattern like this lines in different colors it also reminded me of the clothes of my parents when they were younger so that was probably 80s and 90s and they sort of wore similar outfits to this one similar colors similar style and i really loved it it was a nostalgia like but not my nostalgia, but my nostalgia about my parents' childhood. I still have the tag because I haven't worn it yet, uh, so I'll tell you the price. It was $49.95 and I got it in size small. I didn't want to go to size extra small, although I could. But I love how fluffy and oversized it looks uh, with a bigger size. So it really depends on your personal preference if you want it to fit uh, better. Uh, then go for an extra small but if you want to have something a little bit more oversized then definitely get a small or a medium I want to try it on and show you how it looks so you have an idea it's super pretty and I already have big plans for this baby okay this is how it looks and it is so pretty So I love the colors. You see it is slightly oversized, the length of the sleeves. They're very long for very tall people with long hands, I guess. Uh, but what I want to do is just pull them up like this. I love the sweater. I love the colors. Um, it has all of my favorite colors starting from gray and green and ending with pink. Pink is my most favorite one. So if you're in a market for something cute, cozy, colorful, but at the same time very dreamy, go for this one. It's the, it's the best one. You can also tuck it in your jeans. What I also like to do is tuck in a sweater on the side, not in the middle, but on the side because I don't like when you can see the button. But for this sweater, I don't want to tuck it in because it's so beautiful. I love the pink bottom. I don't want to hide it. I want to keep it like this and yeah, I will probably style it with some oversized jeans and some very big jacket. We are almost finished because I only have one sweater left to show you. And here it is. It's in this pale pink. It's very soft and it's very warm and I feel like it's more on a calmer side of pink 
it's not that bright it's not a pop of color it's more settled I like it this one was mohair and wool blend the price is $39.95 and I got it in size extra small I also like the oversized part on the sleeves because it makes my hands look thinner and smaller they're not the skinniest ones but this way they look pretty tiny and I love it I also love this elastic band right here because it keeps it tight on my hips and that looks really nice and it sort of looks like a balloon in this part but I like it okay guys so this is gonna be it for my today's video thank you so much for watching i hope it was helpful i thought it inspired you to go and get some new knitwear for this winter all of the pieces are extremely warm and i highly recommend every single one of them if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe and push the notification bell button um, also subscribe to my Instagram account I will put it right here and thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time bye